Alrighty, welcome back. I'm Bad Chad, and they call me Bad Chad because we built some badass rides. This thing is looking more and more fantastic in my in my opinion all the time. I'm very happy with the the fin going down to the center. I'm very happy with the door, and I'm going to explain to you the door a little bit, and then we're going to move on to continuing the fin down through the center. My queen Jolene is on the camera and she's doing a fantastic job like she does every day. Throw her a big shout out if you want to, that'd be fantastic. Tell her how good she is. Um, this door, when, when we did the door, we got the metal on it a little bit crooked. It was hanging over this side. You remember I had to cut it, cut it, cut it to get it welded down that seam. On this side, you remember I had the metal, it was shy on the square stock and I had um, the metals over here and the square stock was over there. Well, I had to weld from the corner of the square stock over to the metal so I could grind that off nice. And I had to do that probably, you know, that far. It wasn't a, a great amount. It was probably a quarter down here and probably an eighth up here. But in order to grind that off and make that look good, I had to bring, had to weld from the square stock over. When I set it back on, um, I had welded it all up, I got welded all top, got it welded all the way around. When I got it all welded up, this, this part did not fit nice. It fits really good now, fits really good now going across like that. And the reason being, um, not saying reason being, but if I had left it with it not fitting, say down that far, well you must realize that's, what you're, that's how much fill you're going to need to make that look right, basically. On the same on the other side, you only want to come from the other side, same on this side. If I do not have that looking good, then that means filler is going to take the place of it. So basically you want to try to get the less filler as possible. That's what you're going for. It's what we all go for, I think. So with the door not fitting, um, I got Nathan to help me take the door off. We walked it over here. We even actually marked it. You can see where there's a, a mark there. There's a mark up there. Made it grounded off maybe. There was a mark over here. We transferred it to the other side. This thing is just setting on there. We bring it over here. It was down about that far. It was probably down a quarter inch that the door was down. So that meant I would have to add a bunch of filler to the door. So what happened is, is I come to the, the stump. This is probably the most valuable tool of this build. <laughs> it's hard to believe, but this hammer and this, and this right here is probably the, the most valuable tool to build this truck, this badass hauler. Um, so we just flipped the uh, door upside down. We'll say that this is um, the rib that we had and the door sheathed on, and we wanted that, it was, we wanted that to come up. So what we did is we flipped the door over, we laid it like that, just like usual, with it with the metal on it, so the door come up this way, and it was all sheathed, all welded, everything. But it did not fit worth of anything. So what happened is, Nathan held the door, I come up, hit the, the square stock, uh, and, and bent that, and got that shaped so it looks right. So now when, I, when we turned it over, now we've got something, if you want to just film right down like on top of this, if you want to film down. Now we got something that looks like that. If you know, that's, that's what we're going for. On a car, I've welded like, I don't know if you know it or not, but the Green Goblin that we own, or that we have, or that I built, is a four-door Chrysler with the doors welded shut, with a Cadillac front-wheel driving engine in the back, and a 75 cutlass roof on the front. When I welded that car together, when I welded all those doors shut to get me that full length and look like streamlined, that's when I first realized it does not matter if you have your lines perfectly when you weld the door up. There's, there's, there's shape in each piece. There was shape in the door. There was shape in the fender. When I welded it shut, I had it perfectly lined up. But when I went to fill it out, it still required filler to make it straight from the front uh, to the back. And that's generally where it goes. When you, when you see a car, um, front fenders are on it, the door's on it. If, if I welded that shut, you generally would not be able to do anything with that unless you filled it to make it straight. And you'd be surprised 
what that looks like. We've got it fitting really good. It's not hinged, it's just setting on there. I just put that underneath there for a gap. I jammed it all the way to the top. I've got yet to pull it out a little bit and it might need a little tweak and yet. We're a little bit here and a little bit here, but there's no gap up there. So when we pull that out, we're gonna get that. I'm just afraid where we made that fit there so nicely, we're gonna have to tap it back down just a little tiny bit. And it does not take much. If you wanna watch that process, Jolene picked up the camera and put it on Facebook. That's what she's gonna do, that was the process. It's too bad that we didn't catch how much we needed, but we did catch how hard I did hit it. Didn't we, baby? Huh? So what's going on here? We had a little, uh, I don't know, questionnaire, whether you liked the fin down through the metal or you want me to end it up there. Uh, consensus, I'm thinking, was continue the fin from there and come down to there, and that's what we're gonna do. Uh, when Doug was here the other day, I got him to bend, bend me up a piece of square stock. He bent me up a piece of square stock. He, he used the stump. Yes, he did. And we got it sitting like that. And like, and like I told Doug, when it comes time to put this on, you can see that there's gap in there. It does not fit. It does not fit up in the front here at all. It does not fit. And probably the easiest, probably the easiest thing for me to do is to cut it in half, make this piece fit, and then we'll slide this piece in. And then we'll bring it down to the front, to the center, make it tight, and make it right. Let's go for it. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the, the FCT, we're gonna take this and clean the square stock. And the reason I wanna clean the square stock is everything else is clean, looking really good. Um, it's amazing to me, amazing to me, but it's amazing how, how, to me, how nice the fin looks with the door on it. It was never complete when we put it over in the other building. It was never complete in the metalwork, sort of. So it's just, I just wanted to get that on, get that door on, and I'm very happy with the way it looks. I'm gonna get my glasses, I'm not ready. Hard to believe, baby, isn't it? Hope my glasses aren't in there, are they? Maybe they're on top of the welder. Oh, Fina posing, are you? Fine, Pete posing this morning, Fina. Females this morning? I don't know where my glasses are. Just one second. Hmm. Are they in here? Take a look, baby. Are they in there? No. Ah, it's too bad. I wanted my glasses. Okay. Don't want that to fall. That was silly of me, wasn't it, huh? That's silly of me. I have a new pair. I don't know where they're at right this second. Or I think I do. Look at that, I got a funky pair there. A little, little dust on the bottle never bother me, what? Alrighty, I'm gonna polish this here. Don't like that when I chew little pieces off it. Don't like that, see that? But it is what it is. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on two pieces instead of one. It's not fitting the best. Like I always say, it's crookeder than a ram's horn and we'll, we'll, we'll deal with that. Take a marker, we'll cut this off here. Gotta do that again, make sure I head up far enough. Yes, I did. Cut this off.
and we take a look at that, it's not, <laughs> not real straight. I haven't even got my good glasses on. It's not real straight. Get yourself a piece of wood, stump, and you can do all kinds of amazing things with it. Like straight out a piece of square stock. <laughs> This is fun stuff too because it's by the eye, and that's what it's by, it's by the eye. If you've got a good eye or not, then you can realize what's straight and what's crooked and what doesn't look good. <laughs> Baby, you tell me, take a look at that, tell me if that's straight. Is it straight? Look straight? Jolene just says it looks straight. I'm thinking that means more here. I hate to do that to you, but that's what I think. Let's put it up on there and see what happens. This is the end I cut. Kind of hammer it there. I'll do. I'll clean it up again. Look how nice that fits that when I cut that front off. Big difference. It can come down just a little bit in the center. Now I would hit that with the hammer along there just ever so slightly. That looks really good. Not as good as you, Joey, but it looks good. Now we're going to step back and take a look here. It looks to me like an on all honesty. Come over the lights. Where I put it in the center, it wants to take off. Ah, I don't want it to take off. Stay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just gonna put it on there. To me, all by eye. Let's do this. Let's give a little smack here in the center. Where, when what I want to do is I want to take my marker. I want to mark where it's not hitting. From there, from here. Down is, I guess, I'm just gonna tap it ever so slightly. Ever so slightly. Don't wanna tap it too hard. Thanks for coming back, everybody. We appreciate it. We appreciate the great comments. We hit that pretty easy, yes we did, and I don't want to take it too far. That's sometimes my problem, taking things too far. And that can be with anything, you know. Just a little bit more and she, I, I think she'll love me. I'm talking about pieces, piece of square stock. <laughs> We're still straight. Looks good. Yeah. I wish that would stay so I could. Must ever fit too good, do I? Not bad, eh? I could live with that, to be honest with you. And the reason being is, it's going to you're going to end up getting filled there anyways. Yeah, it looks good. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tack it on. Actually, I'm going to take and clean it again because I got hammer marks on it. And this is not the end of something I'm going to do to it. This is not the end of, what can I say, what do you call that? Um, this is not the end of the design of the truck. And the part that, you know, the design, the, 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 the more design that I'm going to do to it came from a picture that someone had drew of it. And uh, we have not said anything yet, but I think that I want to do it.
Well, let's tack her on and see what we get. No, I didn't even plug it in yet. But we'll do that. We'll do that. Alrighty. I'm gonna get a. Where did a step ladder go? I still got the old bad boy welder set on a high setting for heat. It's working good. I have never changed it. And sometimes it really doesn't matter to me where the heat is set. Just as long as it's thrown down a good weld. That's all I really care. Oh. Should try it on again. Which end went where. That ends up there. And that goes there. What is going on? It's staying. Yeah. We'll just tack it and then we'll move it to wherever we think is center. One tack will hold it, two it will be in place. My helmet's doing the exact same thing it did yesterday. <laughs> Loving me. Just one pack. I think that's probably the reasonable thing to do. That looks good. I like this square, a piece of square stock welded down the center. Basically what I'm going with. I mean, what else, what else can I go with other than what I have? Gonna tack it on. Yeah, it's holding flat, I guess. Do you want to take back and take a look at it and tell me when? Or do I have to get my finger out of the way? I'm just trying to bring it down the center of this. Don't worry about it up there, just bring it down the center of that. Is it in the center of that? Okay, I gotta just tack it and ah. I want to tack it too so I can cut it off if I don't like it. She's smoking. You know. I want to just hit it for a second for some reason. Don't know why I'm like that, but that's what I want to do. I want to hit it. Hey, actually. I don't have to hit it. No, it looks good, I think. Quite a, quite a line all the way down. Let's tack it on. And I can always knock it off. We got her tack down there good enough now. I'll just run a few tacks down just like the center. We'll go every six inches and then we'll go back in between. Take a looky poo poo. That looks good. Looks good. And remember, something like this, if you're building something like this, if you're building something like this, everything has to be filled out yet. You know, there's nobody that's building 
metal cars and, and not filling them out after they're done building them. There's nobody doing that. So if you have something a little off, no, sh no fret. We'll just put a little filler in it. Or filler on it. And to be honest with you, in, just in my opinion, my belly button, I don't know which is more exciting, Jolene's Bugatti or the hauler, because it really is, to me, uh, quite, quite something. Haven't seen one before. You, baby? No, she hasn't seen one either, she said. God bless her. I love her. That's the fun stuff about, you know, the old cars thing. You really can play in your own brain. And um, what I mean by playing your own brain is if you have a hot rod or if you have, you know, a car that you enjoy, you have a car, you know, whatever, um, and you don't know what you would like to build next or what you would like to have, it's always nice to think about a hauler. It's just like um, Jolene's race car and we built the truck to haul it. How much fun, how much fun does that look like? Um, taking something that you're doing, which was flathead racing, and we took it just a little bit further and made a hauler for it. Um, Jolene's Bugatti is over the top. Um, how much more fun is it to make something to haul the Bugatti, you know? So if you have a hot rod, make something that you can haul it with, or make something a trailer that you can put it on to look cool or whatever you want to do to play in your own brain with your your own car your own toys and that's basically what i how i look at it they're all just toys where did i cut that piece and put it at that's what i do all the time is play in my own brain what would i like to have or what would i like to do and you can do the exact same thing Now, we have not got a piece here that's fitting real good. Now, we got to make it work. Let's make it work. Now, what we're going to do is exactly what we always do, mark it. Do I mark it with a B and put it in the oven and cook it for me and Mew? I mean, <laughs> how's that go? Mark it with a B, put it in the oven, cook it for me. I don't know how that goes. There's a saying there, isn't it not? Yeah, 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 yeah. Cook it for my baby and me. Now, you see how I got the big gap going on here in the center. Um, that would be the place that I, want, I would want to whack it with a hammer. Not really, but I'm going to. We'll try that one first. We'll get that one to fit. And how would you bend that piece of square stock, that length, in there without having something like this? How would you bend? Like, you know, I don't know. I know how I bend it. With a piece of wood. So you got a little bit more out of her. I'm gonna take a little more. Did I leave that there long enough for you? Joey's a badass. It doesn't take much sometimes. Doesn't take much. Oh, need a little more. A little higher up here. We are getting closer. Closer. <laughs> it's almost like hit one more time. Hit it one more time. We're getting closer. Just a little bit.
Pretty good. What do you think, baby? Pretty good? Whack it again. It's pretty good, isn't it? I can whack it one more time. I don't have to, though. I actually don't mind having a little gap. I got a little bit of a gap going on there or some of it. And I do not mind having the gap on the top of it. And I'm going to tell you the reason why. When I come along here and tack that all back up again, I get it tacked all the way along across the back. Um, I am not going to, I'd be foolish to weld that or think I'm going to weld that all the way down the center, grind it all off so it looks like that. Why, why would I bother? The body is already made. There's nothing coming up from underneath to knock anything off. There's no water or sleet or rust that's going to probably take off up in that center fin because there's nothing up there other than the fin. So basically what's going to happen is, you can see how I'd have it down the back here. Joey's going to show you with their amazing camera work. I've got to tack probably every inch. I may as well, in, in my opinion, tack it every inch. And then I would grind it, clean it, run my finger with fiberglass all the way the whole length, and then fill it out. Probably going to do the exact same thing on this, where the body comes down. This is all welded to square stock in there before that's already been there. This square stock on the outside is something that's added. It's cosmetic. It didn't need to be there, but I wanted it. So why, why would I weld that all the way along there and grind that all off to make it something I don't have to? I probably will scratch it up and fiberglass all the way down along there, all the way along there, and it'll be finished off. There, I don't think there's any need to weld that all the way along there. If there's something structural, not structural, cosmetic, um, I would weld it up and make it tight and right. But as, as it has the gap underneath it, I'll finish what I was trying to say. When it has a gap underneath it, then the, then the filler or the fiberglass has a chance to go underneath there and bond itself and hold itself in there. If I'm just laying it on the outside, it's laying there. But with that gap, you know just as well as I do, when I squeeze that in there, that, that fiberglass filler is going to go right inside there and you're not getting it out. Because I won't let you. Now we have a major confliction going on down here. It's called, come take a look baby if you, it's not straight. I'm just, there's a bunch of things going on. She's showing you this gap here. I'm showing you there that it's not running straight on that or don't look like it's running straight, does it? No. So it's a little bit crooked. We'll get it fitting this way and then we'll straighten it out. So we need more, more roundness here. We need to get that in. We're tight all the way to here, or tight enough, all the way to here, scratch that one off. So we need to get that down and get that in. So we need, what do we need? We need more roundness. Um, bum, 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 bum. This needs to be flatter for one. Now, that's going to be kicked in, and it's going to be kicked in where I said. So, I can't, it's hard to get a, get a bend on that where I got that, let's put something up in there, another piece of wood, that'll do it. Looking down through my glasses again. Ugh. On. I need to hit that right. You see this line right here? I'm going to hit it here, put it up there, and I got a big gap going on here, so I should be able to get it where I want it, shouldn't I? Hope to. Getting closer. Get that fit up there, we're getting closer. Our gap has moved down to here. Just a piece of wood. Take your flapper wheel, your 36 grit, scope it out. I can scope it out right now to give me more, but just a piece of wood. Just a piece of wood.
We're getting there. We're getting there. A little bit more. We're going to come down here this time. Doesn't like being hit with a hammer. Me neither, actually. I'm just gonna mark it so I know. Getting closer. I'm just gonna. That looks like it's gonna be straightened out some. Piece of wood. And anybody can do this. Anybody. Anybody? Yes. Anybody. Let's get her in a little further. I straightened that out. That's nice. We gotta get that in a little further. Quite a curve, really, to put in a piece of square stock. But it's like it's like Jolene said when we when we did. Um, it's got to go in, fitting good down here at the bottom. Can you see, look? Fitting good down there. Fitting good down there. Fitting good up here. What needs to go on? Let's figure it out. Let's get, what needs to go on? What needs to go on is is this piece needs to be punched in a little bit, I think, or yeah, we'll just punch it in a little bit. Do it a little bit. Just gonna put it like that. Just feeling the edge of the pipe going beat up too bad. Ooh. That's good. Now we gotta whack it there again, bring it back in. That's nice and straight there now. And we'll do this again. I'm thinking that's why Ferrari like Jimbo's Ferrari, when something like a Ferrari gets smashed up, if you do not know or not, the Ferrari's a lot of square tubing in a Ferrari, like it's a cage. When you bump that cage, you are moving all that square tubing because it's all angled everywhere and it would be a hard thing to straighten out. Gotta give big kudos to Jim to straighten out a uh, Ferrari. If you know what I'm trying to say. Like, watch yourself, sweetheart. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Got a little bit of gap going on there. Going to knock. No, nope, I'm going to do a little bend in the center there. Right there. A little bend right there. Hope I got it in the right spot. Beautiful. I'm going to go with that. That's not as beautiful as Jolene, but it's looking good. Now we got this going on. Just gonna whack it a little bit. We can get that on there nice. I'm lucky. I like it. Take a looky poo poo. A little bit crooked there, but um, when I move it over there, I think that will look good. Let's, let's clean it off. Let's clean it off.
I don't know if you realize it or not, but when you have plate steel, turn that off for a second while I talk. You have plate steel. When you have plate steel, there's a different coating on it. It's really dark and it's, it's hard to get off the grinder and the whole bit. Uh, that machine right there, uh, the SCT uh, Eastwood stripper tool, uh, really does a good job on that, way better than a grinder or anything like that would do, to taking that black You can buy a hat like just like that if you want to. You can buy that at Jolene's store. Lots of people have, and we want to thank you. Thanks for writing in about what you like and what you don't like, or about the, the fin, whether you should think it should continue. I got a little piece of welder, gotta knock it off. Thank you for writing in your little, your your belly button and telling us what you like we appreciate it all it does is help everything grow on the channel and it makes me feel good that you're interested in what's going on Yeah, I'm really, really happy with, um, more happy with what, the way it looks um, as we get putting this on. Really happy with it. Just gonna tack it, and then we can move it. One, it holds it, and then it'll be two. It just seems crooked to me already. That just seems, doesn't it seem, Crooked? Yes. It does, doesn't it? The center has to be, this has to be. Let's do it again. that off. Probably should hit the with the stripper thing again. Just gotta put some marks on it. Knock this off. A beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. We got some fantastic weather the next week or so, haven't we, babe? Remember, if you do not like something, take it off, do it again. It seems like it's still got a little, like a little bend in it there, like right up here. Does it seem to you? So, in other words, what you're saying is, it's bent this way. This has to be straightened out, so it has to be hit on this side. Is that what you're thinking? Okay. That's exactly what I was thinking, sweetheart. Yeah, if you don't like it, take it off and fix it. Take it off and fix it. Taking the hammer marks off it. If you don't like it, take it off and fix it. I think I already said that, but it is the deal. Let's 
Still, I get over there too far now, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Not making me happy. Not hitting the other side, don't have to clean it. How many times will that make? Three, four? And it is what it is. It takes what it takes. Still gonna be bent over, hasn't it? Don't you find? Like it's still got that. Do you find that? It's got a little bit of that. Should I weld it and hit it with a hammer? Still got it, not liking it. I'm gonna hit it in the center, right there. The center. Ah, stop it. Turned in my hands is what it's doing. Getting her. You like it? It's hard to tell, isn't it? What do you think? The best it's been. <laughs> and it could be we're seeing dark weld marks on this side and we're not seeing anything on the other side. But I am going to. Best she said she's seen it. Does that look okay? Should I attack it? Yeah. Or you like it? Yeah. You like it or don't like it? I like it. Alright. I'm gonna attack it up front here. A little bit of a gap. Oh that's alright. Let's tack it in the back here. Let's get her tacked down. Maybe we can straighten it out if we don't like it with a hammer. Have it tacked on there. So I'm going to go for it this time. I'm not going to mess around with it. I'm thinking if I weld it on there good, then I can tack it around. Tack, I can hit it with a hammer. I'm liking that. That's fine. That looks good. I'm thinking that the dark where you can see the weld mark going on that one side is taking me off a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to knock that on there, I guess. Um, I should have been in there a little bit. I'm going to go with it. What do you think, sweetie pie? Once I knock her on there, I don't really want to cut it back off. Let's do this. I'm going to take the flapper wheel and I'm going to hit the center of 
the fin. I'm going to bring it all together as one, where it's welded together there. I'll bring it shiny as one, and we'll, then we'll take a look at it. Just trying to enhance it a little bit. I'm just going to take the flapper wheel. I like it. Take a look at it now with that flat, with that wheel together. Looks better. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Looks better. Just asking for Jolene's opinion. That's all, and it matters to me because she's my partner. Bit of a gap going on there, and I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it. I'm gonna look back at it one more time. Can't help it. It's beautiful. You are Jolene. Absolutely gorgeous. I'll just blame it on the new glasses. Maybe six inches will go. Just a nice finish to have that three quarter inch sticking out there coming down to finish with it. Looks good. We're gonna go with that. So I'm saying that awesome. Let's do this. Let's knock it on a little bit better. We don't want to put a bunch of heat in it. We just want it to stay. Uh, what? No, not at all. You, you stick with it, sweetheart. You look good out there. Not looking to put a bunch of heat. It just popped off somewhere. Yesterday, when we heard a snap go on, remember the snap? There was a snap that snap, and there was. I looked across, and there was a, a piece of weld that had snapped off, and that's what it was. Now we'll go to the other side. the old metal snapping.
Beautiful. Alrighty. I'm really happy with that. There's quite a long distance going up through there, but I'm, I'm happy with it. I think it looks fantastic. And what, so what would happen now is I guess what I would do is I'd end up dragging the welder back and going between each one all the way up through there, trying to keep the heat down the best I can. Um, do we want to move on to the next design feature? Okay, next video will be the next design feature. I have not let it out of the bag yet. I have not let... Actually, there's a couple things that I really want to do to it more. Uh, we have another design feature that we're going to do to it. I'll continue on plunking that on there. Um, we have the door to contend with with the hinges yet. I have not put the hinges in the door yet for it to come up. It's going to be good. It's funny how the old metal just... Boys, you tack something like that, like that. And you, it just dances all the time. But this door is coming down with steps. This one's coming up for the engine. Man, this thing is cooler than dang it. Where are we at with time, sweetheart? 52. All right, everybody, thanks for coming back. I really appreciate it. Um, if you would throw in a like or a comment, I'd appreciate it more. And you come back tomorrow. And I'll be here with another design feature of the Bugatti Hauler that you never seen coming. Have a great day, everybody. I'll be here tomorrow. Come on back.